everybody and uh it's starting now uh welcome welcome everybody uh we have quite a few people today um 19 which means 18 of you um pretty outstanding we will get started we're working on main idea real quick but before we do so um we talked about the mygd.com and your official practice tests or what is what we like to call the um or what they call GED, Maybe Mama the, gets some um, GED ready test. Okay. Um, so let me share real quick. Can you give me some more chips? Let me share. All right. So I got to look at my participants. All right. So. I am going to share this right here. Let's see if it works. Can you see this? Yes or no? I think you yes. Can. All right, so let's log in. I'm gonna log in with my student login and we will go from there. <laughs> This is the <laughs> oh, nothing works, I swear. All right. Come on. All right, here we go. That's my login. We talked about the different tests here. Um, this under study, you can go to find classes, which you've already done. You can don't go to the practice. Okay, that's the practice test. It's on sale now, which is super cool. But what I wanted to show you is that you can literally get 50% off of that. Um, so you just simply put 50 OFF and you apply that code and now you're at $11 and you can simply just pay with your credit card. Um, so utilize that code 50 off. It's fairly easy. You get to use this, um, these four sections or take this test once, but in the next six months. So if you're not ready right now, that's okay. But if you wanna save some money for the future, that's what we would recommend, okay? So I'm stopping sharing real quick. And then I am going to, let's look at main idea. And then we're gonna work on some of that IXL main idea. Where is it? All right, so these are worksheets that I will send you, okay? Um, different level worksheets, but I wanna look at, this is just my favorite visual for main idea because um, it has multiple different components, but. Um, if you look at it like a chair or look at it like a table here, your main idea is supported by details. Okay, so whether you're writing or you're reading. Um, so right here, a paragraph is a series of sentences that supports uh, a main idea or point. A paragraph typically starts with the main idea or point, also called topic sentence. The rest of the paragraph excuse me, provide specific details to support and develop that point. The illustration below shows the relationship between point and, uh, and the support. So we think of those details. You can look at this a little bit more. Um, it has a little practice section here. I will forward that to you as well. If you have a printer, awesome. If you don't, you can still uh, modify it and manipulate it. But I want to think of whether you're writing or you're reading, you want to have that big main point and you want to have even in regards to how good the points are, even points or points that at least have to do with that particular topic sentence. So when you're writing, um, if you were given an essay like you had to do back in middle school, like what, what's a, your favorite country and why? You might want to say, I, I happen to live in South America. So I would say Argentina is my favorite country outside of Argentina and I would have some supports, right? I might say, cause the women are very beautiful. The soccer is very important and they have really, really great food. 
those would be even legs. If I started to add why I think McDonald's is really good, or if I said um, surfing in Hawaii is fun, that becomes a, a leg or a yeah. point that is not really having to do with the particular point that I want to get it uh, uh, across. So you want to, when you're reading, when you're writing, to understand all those points of support, all those details, support evenly, hopefully, that main point or that main idea. Okay, so I will give you that. Let's go to, um, trying to find my main idea or point. I'm not trying to find the trash. All right, so stop sharing and then I share again. Okay, so we'll look at this real quick. Um, I know I'm not going to go, it's kind of like a little mini lesson, and then we want to actually do some practice, and then I'm going to let you guys um, enjoy math. I got to move this thing out of the way. Okay, sweet. All right, so when you're identifying a main idea, you obviously want to read the whole text. I recommend reading it multiple times. If you're doing newsela.com, you're going to want to read that thing multiple times so you can get a good main idea or understanding. You want to, why doesn't anything work? There we go. Um, you ask, what is the author doing here? What are they talking about? Pay extra attention to the first and last sentences. That's kind of key. First and last sentences in a good writer would start a paragraph, a decent sized paragraph with what they're going to talk about and then sum up with the last sentence what they have talked about, okay? A couple of examples here. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first men to walk on the surface of the moon, uh, but they were not the last. Uh, that was Gene Cernan, the last man uh, to step off the surface, uh, the lunar surface. In total, there have been 12 men who have walked on the moon, all of whom have done uh, so between 1969 and 1972, uh, which is the most recent non-Michael Jackson moonwalking. That's kind of funny. So understanding the main idea, you want to comprehend the text, focus on the biggest understanding, the biggest idea. Okay, and here are some points. Buzz Aldrin, I'm sorry, Armstrong and Aldrin, um, were the first on the moon. Cernan was the last on the moon. And then men, uh, there have been 12 men who have walked on the moon, okay? A really, really good main idea is we're talking about people who have walked on the moon or in this phrase, moon walkers, okay? Um, test, test writers uh, may ask you another good title for this passage would be, so that's a very good understanding is, if your title or if you can sum up the main idea of a book or a paragraph in one sentence or if your title uh if you can add a little to your title that would probably be your main idea okay it's just a way of asking for the main idea uh so we'll we're not going to do this we're going to they want you to send out these passes i will send you this powerpoint as well so let's stop sharing and we're going to actually practice on the IXL.com. Let me get it ready. Can you see what I'm seeing or no? No. Cool. Love when things work. Like emailing people 900 times the same crap. <laughs> All right. So let's get this going. Um, we are sharing screen. We are on the right here. Can you see me? No. Yep. See it. We um, so we're looking, we want to, first off, I'll click on diagnostic. I want you guys to spend some time in the diagnostic arena, which is a fancy, we, we really want to understand that the tape test gives us a diagnostic, the, the ready test gives us a diagnostic. This has a diagnostic, which will help us understand where exactly you're at, okay? And based on these scores, these scores, if you take some of the digits away, we're talking about from seventh to ninth grade or from ninth to 12th grade, okay, when we're talking about these items. If your name is here, okay, you need to continue to do the diagnostic, please. I'm gonna try and encourage 
you to do that. And then some students Don't have you not, leave huh? Some some students have not accessed the diagnostic arena. So let's let's make that happen as soon as we can. Okay. Um, let's look at analytics, my students. What you've been doing thus far, if you've logged in. Uh, this is this year. Obviously, this changes when I delete students. But let's look at the last week. Um, what people are doing. So this is really the good part of technology. I can see exactly what people have done, whether they've done a lot or not. Looks like Mariah is absolutely killing it uh, this week. Um, so let's look at the learning portion. And you have access to all of this, you can see. We're going to learning. We're going to hit the tab language arts because that's what we're going to do. And we are going to go to third grade. I know it's going to be crazy and look at the main idea. We're going to kind of ease our way into main idea. So we start low, make sure it's easy, something we can comprehend. You're going to help me with this. I'm going to help you with this. Then we move in and what, what I want you to do on your own is eventually move to seventh, eighth, ninth, start getting in the high school range. Once you're in the high school range, you're pretty gold. If you start getting 100% on the high school range, I'm very happy. So we're gonna look first at using key details, okay, to determine main idea. You're gonna help me out with this. So we're looking at these details about forests specifically. The sound of the wind blowing through the forest trees can be calming. Bird songs are commonly heard in forests and in some forests you can hear water flowing uh, in streams. So looking for a main idea that ties all of this stuff together. This one says some zoo animals make a lot of noise at night. Are we talking about anything to have to do with zoos? No. Yeah, so this is like a really bad leg on the chair, bad leg on the table, like just <laughs> dumb. There's no zoo talk right there. We barely, no. We're only talking about animals right here. Um, forests are filled with sounds of nature. That yeah, right that's the right one. That's the right one, good, yeah. You got it, good job. See your smart score, we want that to be what? Do you guys remember? The 80. Um, I'd like you to almost hit 90. I know Mr. Butler wants you to hit 80, but between 80 to 90, or, or if you have to get the hundo, that's okay too. All right, so let's look at this one about baseball players. Baseball players have to run around base quickly. Or baseball players sometimes have to run to catch a ball, hit into the air, or baseball players sometimes need to chase other players to tag them out. So we're looking at Baseball players, specifically, looking at a main idea that ties these details together. Running is an important skill for baseball players. Being fast helps baseball players catch balls that were hit. What do you guys think is a good main idea? The first one? Yeah, I would say the first one. The first one for sure. Um, the second one does not include information about that first option or the third option. It really only talks about that particular detail. So that is perfect. Yes, let's see if we got it. Wonderful. Very good. So we're looking at bird's nests now. Bird's nests are sometimes seen on traffic lights. Bird's nests have been spotted in old shoes. Some birds make nests in mailboxes, okay? Now, we're looking at the main idea that ties all these little guys together. A cactus can be a home for some animals in the desert. No. Do we see anything about a cactus or desert? No. No, that's really dumb. That's a dumb dumb. Um, birds' nests can be built in strange places. Correct. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. So we have different places like a traffic light, old shoes, mailboxes. All right, really, absolutely brilliant. very good. Okay, next one, swimming. We're talking specifically about these details of swimming and we're gonna tie them all together with one of these main ideas. Swimming can help your legs become stronger. Swimming can strengthen your heart. Swimming can keep your lungs healthy. Swimming is good for your body. So we're either talking about swimming is good for your body or swimming is strengthens your arms. No, the top one. It only says something about legs right there and it says nothing about arms anywhere else. So 
we're talking about how good something can be for your body. Okay, all these are positive sentences about swimming and your body. Next one, frogs. Some frogs use their uh, long legs like springs to jump. Some frogs have webbed feet to help them swim. Some frogs have padded toes that help them climb up and down trees. All right, what ties all those together? Frogs have special body parts to help them move. The frogs use webbed feet like wings to glide. No, frogs have special body parts that help them move. Very good. So this one really would be if you wanted to add another detail. Uh -oh. Someone's watching TV really loud. All right, yeah. If you're watching TV um, or whatever, put your stuff on. Like, I can't hear a word he's saying. Oh, okay. Me neither. Let's see. All right. Is that better? Very good. A little yeah. bit, but I can still hear them, though. <laughs> Why isn't it saying who's talking? All right, so I'm gonna mute everyone and then you can unmute yourself, okay? Let's do that. Okay. That's most fun. Mute everyone and then you unmute yourself. Very good, then we'll be able to do that. All right, so let's hit the next one. Um, okay. So we're submitting this one, correct, cool. Let's look at building a kite. So you can put your... Um, you want to put your sound back on obviously if you're watching the tv i i'm just trying to whittle out who was uh, watching the tv uh looking at building a kite you only need two sticks a, a plastic bag and a string to build a kite it doesn't take uh long to build a kite you don't need to spend much money to build a kite we're looking at um the main idea that ties all these together it's simple to build a kite Building a kite is cheap or flying a kite must be done on a windy day. I know that's the bogus one. So which one do you guys think between building a kite is cheap or building a kite? I'm sorry, it is simple to build a kite. It's simple. To build a simple. Kite. So yeah, we're talking about the cheap part is only here. Okay. Uh, it doesn't take long. It would make it Turner. Yeah. Hey. No. What are you doing, drunk? What, you drunk? Are you staggering around all crazy? <laughs> No, they have to do the application. I have to pay online. Everything's done online now. Okay. Yeah, for enrollment, all they need to do is do the application. The application might be missing. Yeah, just go go on our website, go to GED application or GED, and then it's it's a, a link that's directly to an application. Yeah, so just don't do that. No, don't do that part. You don't have to do that part. Yeah, you don't have to do that part. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, sorry about that. I clicked the wrong one. So we're gonna go back to that A section, which is just main idea, I believe for every grade main ideas. Now we're gonna determine the main idea. So you're gonna help me out with this. I need my volunteer, voluntary volunteer readers if you want to. Baby kangaroos, that's cute. Anybody wanna read this? A female babe, uh, kangaroo. I'll read it. Thank you. A female kangaroo has a special fold of skin that forms a pouch. The pouch is like a large pocket on its stomach. 
when a baby kangaroo or joey is born it climbs into its mother's pouch at birth a joey is only about one inch long it needs to stay in the pouch so it can grow more after several months the joey has grown enough to leave the pouch for short periods of time by the time the joey is 10 months old it is ready to leave the pouch for good Yes, so based on that information, we want a good understanding. What is the main thrust, main understanding of, again, baby kangaroo is the title. A baby kangaroo can stay in its mother's pouch until it is strong enough to live on its own. Female kangaroos have pouches on their belly for carrying their young. What do you The guess? first one. First one. So the first, first one. one. This is in it, but it's not the main thrust of it. You got it. How about That's this? Really small, baby kangaroo. Can you not see it? No, 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 no. I'm saying like it's more than an inch long. So it's like so With, oh, the kangaroo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can. I'll pull up a picture in a couple of minutes. So I'll show you. It's pretty gross. Uh, what kind of life? Oh, what? <laughs> what kind of? What would life be like without gravity? Who wants to hit this one? We're talking about gravity. I'll go for it. All right. Let's hear it. Gravity is the force that makes things fall to Earth. You can't see or touch it, but without gravity, life on Earth would be quite different. Everything would simply float away. If you jumped up, you would fly off into space. If you threw a baseball, it would never come down. Gravity is also the force that keeps the Earth orbiting around the sun. So without gravity, the Earth might float away. All right, so let's look. Main idea here. Without gravity, the Earth wouldn't orbit the sun, or life on Earth would be different without gravity. The second, the second one. Oh, yeah, second the second one. Definitely the second one. Yeah, I'm, definitely the second one. I'm not saying that the first one is a bad information. It's good information. It's yeah. right here, OK? Um, but that's only one chunk. We want a big idea. Life would be pretty crazy if we were floating away and you threw a baseball or whatever. Very good. All right, learning from pen pals. Who's gonna hit this one up? Not everybody at once, don't go crazy. I'll take it. All right, let's do it. Learning from pen pals. Pen pals are friends who live, who live far apart, but write letters to each other. It's exciting for pen pals to get letters in the mail from another city or country. More importantly, pen pals learn about each other's lives. They may share ideas about their families, pets, and favorite foods. They also may tell each other about special places and events in their towns. Through words and pictures, pen pals make each other's worlds a little bit bigger. Very cool. So, um, well, I think that through pictures, I think that's written wrong. I think it should be a little smaller. Pen pals send letters and pictures to each other through the mail or having a pen pal is a good way to learn about life in another. Having place. a pen pal is, okay. yeah. One is very Two. specific. Has anybody, or anybody ever had a pen pal? Me. Really? Okay, like from where? Well, I used to live in the Bahamas and I had a pen pal someplace in the United States. I don't even know where. <laughs> Oh my God. I, I remember doing it in elementary school. I don't remember any of the details. I think it was somebody from another state. Um, but yeah, pen pals, it's, it's an interesting concept. We live in a very interesting time where you can shoot an email, text anyone. I mean, on, on your iPhone. Yeah, it's different now. You can text anyone in the whole world, no problem. Or you, if you have that app, what is it? WhatsApp? WhatsApp. Yeah, I have, yeah, I have friends in, in uh, Zimbabwe. Yeah. So in I, Zambia. I lived in Argentina for a year and then Peru for a little bit. And that's how I contact those, uh, co those friends of mine uh, via WhatsApp. So yeah, you can be anywhere in the world. Makes, I think it makes the world a little smaller. All right, wonderful. Let's do the last one. Oh, speaking of the devil, devil smartphones. Anyone, anyone? All right, I'll, I'll uh, wrap it up. Smartphones are phones that are used uh, for more than making calls and sending messages. People count on them 
for getting directions and finding information on the internet. People also have fun listening to music, excuse me, taking pictures and playing games on their phones. On the other hand, smartphones have some downsides. They can make it hard to keep your mind on important things like studying. Some people even text during meals and when spending time with family. Driving while using a phone puts other people in danger. Smartphones are useful, but they can cause problems if not used safely and politely. All right, so big main thrust of the, of the, of the passage here. Smartphones can be used in good, uh, both good and bad ways. Or are uh, there are many good things about smartphones? I think it's first the first one. one. First, yeah, one. So first half one. Half of this passage is about good things, but also half of the passage is about bad things in regards to smartphones. So yeah, we got a great job on that. Okay, sweet. Um, I wanted to show you what this looks like at the higher levels. It gets more intense. Uh, language arts. Let's look at the 12th grade. Determining the main idea of a passage. You'll see the passage is going to be longer and more intricate. Okay. Um, the You can just see that the words are bigger. Okay. Um, using transition words like however, things like that. Okay. So what I want you to do is um, obviously I need you to finish the diagnostic if you have not make that a priority, but then spend some time because I will send all you guys an email about, um, about the uh, main idea information. So you can utilize that if you would like to, uh, as well as um, I will probably send you some links to main idea, like uh, lessons that are quick ones from YouTube, okay? I'm going to stop sharing and stop recording, so...